Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, Soma's Makeup Diary. It's Saturday morning and I am pretty excited to show you a beautiful, stunning fuchsia look today. Are you ready? I think you are. Here are the swatches. By the way, did you see the theme? That beautiful flower, the fuchsia one. Actually, um, the other day when I was going on a walk, I saw that flower and I really, really wanted to create that look. Big, it was beautiful. Fuchsia, yellow, and a hint of purple. Love, love, love that combination. I've never tried it before. I have tried fuchsia in my looks, but these three colors together, first time. So let's get started. By the way, swatch this again. Purple, pink, and um, yellowy, shimmery gold. Okay, actually, uh, I do not have fuchsia in my collection, but I have these two shades, and I'm going to mix these two shades together to get the result that I want. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and use that purple shade on my crease area. And also pulling that color towards my transition area. It is a very interesting purple shade which has a lot of purple and a hint of fuchsia. So, purpley fuchsia? <laughs> All right, do you have any Saturday plans? Today, I'm in a mood to create two looks, you know, um, one for the morning and one for the evening because I have a dinner party to attend. And you must be thinking, why can't I wear this look to my evening party? Because I'm going to wear my Indian costume and I would like to use that Indian costume colors and create a beautiful look. And the theme would be the Indian sari. So this is my morning look and that would be my evening look. Of course, I'm going to share the look with you. So if you're interested, of course you're interested, right? There you go. Transition and crease area. Do you see how defined my crease area is? Now I'm going to take a beautiful pink, bright pink, and going to concentrate on the center part of my lid using the same brush because I want that purpley effect on my lid as well. Pretty bright, isn't it? It's a bright sunny day. Kids are playing outside and I am in a fuchsia mood. What do I say? Pat it, blend it, build it. Concentrating on the center part of my lid area okay i want to use a little bit more of it wow amazing the moment i saw that flower i thought wow that's a very nice combination and i couldn't have uh, thought about that combination i mean yeah purple fuchsia together purple fuchsia and yellow it was just Beautiful. I think I've got enough on my lids. Now, do you see that innermost corner? You must have guessed it. I'm going to use that yellow, shimmery, goldeny shade right there. 
using a very small brush as you all know I love to use that small teeny tiny brush and yes so nice right okay right there I think I'm going to use my ring finger and dab that color a little more right here okay overlapping that fuchsia but not to worry because I'm going to definitely use that fuchsia one more time can't have enough of that that's a beautiful shade right there look at that wow actually I'm going to pull it right there innermost most corner see I think I'm going to use a little bit more on the right eye this shimmery yellow is one of my one of my favorites you know I just love this shade I'm going to dust it a little pulling it a little up and blending it on my lower lash line as well and now on this I doing the same thing pulling it a little up towards my crease area and bringing it down a little and dusting it you know that beautiful shade just amazing isn't it now I'm going to take that fuchsia bright pink one more time and overlap that beautiful shimmery shade a little right here look at that color my friends bright oh beautiful see now I'm going to take the little tiny brush I have in my collection and I'm going to take that purpley shade one more time to concentrate right here on my crease area and pulling it a little towards the inner corners of my eye area beautiful nice defined socket area okay and now I'm going to take that purple shade one more time but with a smudge brush you know what I'm going to use that purple right here connecting the crease area shadows okay wow wow it is like a beautiful petal of that flower love it I think that is the best part about nature right I mean for me it's like so many colors and so many combinations ah just ah, amazing taking that bright pink and concentrating right here in the middle of that beautifully golden shade and purple doing it the same way here okay right there All right. now I'm going to take the, the teeny tiny one okay one brush in my collection is the smallest brush and one is teeny tiny one and that way it is easier for me to call them actually I'm filling the gaps right here near the lash line and also right here because I cannot have enough of that beautiful shade 
and I'm going to dab again with my fingers and pat it right here okay don't want to lose that beautiful shade you know sometimes when you blend it it you know looks beautiful so that's why first I blend it and then I pat it a little bit more of that shade so that I can get that beautiful saturated color at the same time a blended look what do you think I think I'm pretty happy with the look and now I'm going to curl my lashes a couple of coats of mascara and you know I cannot live without a kajal pencil and a liquid liner so I'll do that and I'll join you right after that all right my friends I'm back lashes done liner done liquid liner with wing done it took a little longer today <laughs> actually I was creating this wing and I wanted that wing to be a little longer today I hope you like the look and I hope you will try it and let me know about your makeup experiences so that is my Saturday morning look and I'm pretty happy with it cheerful colorful fuchsia look and uh, you all know that you are welcome to Soma's makeup diary to watch fun makeup tutorials and I will be back tomorrow with another fun I look tutorial so for now bye bye have fun enjoy your saturday and see you soon bye